All right, uh, let's look at the homework six, uh, problem number eight. Uh, let's find the derivative of this uh, rational function using a quotient rule. All right, so uh, let's take the derivative. So quotient rule says that uh, we have to square the denominator. So we have uh, quantity uh, t plus seven squared, All right? So this part is easy, All right? Then we take the derivative of the top, which is going to be uh, put 8 in front, uh, keep the inside function as it is, so 3t minus 2, and uh, subtract 1 from the power, so it's 7, just the power rule, then multiply by derivative of the inside, so which is going to be 3, right? And times the denominator, so it's going to be t uh, plus 7. Right, then this keeps on going, and the minus, right, the top, which is just to copy that, 3t minus 2, raise it to the eighth power, multiply by derivative of the denominator, which is going to be 1. Right, so uh, since the 1 doesn't do anything, so I'm going to just uh, erase it so I don't even have to write that. All right, so we have that, and I guess we can leave it as it is, but I'm going to make it a little bit uh, prettier. All right, so we have common factors, right? So you have, uh, let's see here, you have uh, 3t minus 2 to the 7th power, right? But we have uh, 8 of those, so I'm going to just circle 8 so that I know that uh, there is another 3t minus 2 left over. So I'm going to just pull that out. So you have uh, 3t minus 2 raised to the 7th power. All right, then we just need to um, uh, collect uh, uh, the leftover terms. All right, so uh, let's see, you have, uh, there's an 8 here. And there's a 3 here, so that's 24 times t, so you have a 24t, right? So then, so then we have a 24 times 7 too, so 24 times 7 is what? Uh, 4 times 7 is uh, 28, and uh, 7 times 2 is 14, so 168. All right, so that will take care of, uh, you know, 8 and 3, so that's 24, and t plus 7, all right? And then we have another um, negative uh, 3t, and a negative negative, so it's going to be plus 2, all right? Then we have, on the bottom, we have uh, t plus 7 squared, all right? We can still simplify this a little bit further, all right? So we have uh, 3t minus 2 to the seventh power, all right? So you have a 24t minus 3t is 21t, all right? Then you have 168 plus 2 is 170, all right? So 170 there, all right? Then all over quantity t plus 7 squared. All right, so let's type this guy in. All right, so what we got was, so we have a fraction, and on top you have uh, 3t uh, minus 2 raised it to the 7th power times uh, 21t uh, plus 170, all right, and uh, over quantity t plus 7 and raise it to the second power. All right, let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.